Hi, I'm Josh Yenny here with Homespun Music Instruction, and this lesson is all about fingerstyle guitar. And more importantly, and more specifically, it is about the most important part of fingerstyle guitar, and also the hardest part of fingerstyle guitar, which is the right hand. So there's a lot of great videos out there on different aspects of fingerstyle guitar. This one is going to be all about the right hand. We're not even going to do much with the left hand. All you got to know is a few basic open chords and everything else is going to be right in here. So you'll see on the chart and it's labeled on every page. T is thumb, I is index, M is middle, R is ring. Very complicated, right? I sort of lean towards more of a classical style of an approach where the thumb is taking the bottom three strings, so the low E, the A string, and the D string, and the fingers are taking the top three strings. So the first finger is on the G string, and in these exercises, always on the G string. The middle finger is on the B string, the second string. If you're using a metronome, which I would highly recommend, remember to play it as slow as you have to play it to get it right and set the metronome to do your quarter notes. So basically set it to go with your thumb. So if we're playing this, I'm gonna set my metronome to one, two, three, four. So number one says T-M-T-I. So that means I'm gonna play the thumb, then I'm gonna play the middle finger, then I'm gonna play the thumb on that higher string, the D string, and then I'm gonna play the index finger. Okay, so one is reading as Thumb, middle, thumb, index. So pretty obvious what the last one is. The first one is thumb, ring, thumb, middle. It's gonna sound like this. Okay. Now we're gonna put our millennia notes on the downbeats with those. Um, so what it's gonna sound like, again, over a C major chord, is gonna sound like this. This is that second page of your download. It says squeeze up top because we're squeezing the thumb and the finger at the same time. Okay, our thumb is gonna be doing the same thing. And now we're going to put those next to each other. Again, we're not doing anything with our left hand but playing a C major chord. Fingers where they need to be, thumb where they need to be going between fifth string and fourth string. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna play pattern one and then we're gonna play pattern five, and we're gonna play them next to each other. So it's gonna sound like this. We're using the same fingers, we're just changing the time of where the fingers are. So we have a thumb, pattern one, then pattern five. Pattern one. It's similar to how we were switching before, but instead of staying on a static chord, now we're gonna switch the chord as we switch the patterns. So it's gonna sound like this. And again, slow it down, because now your brain is thinking of all kinds of stuff and we wanna play it clean and play it accurate. So here we would do pattern one on the C major chord for one bar, and then we'll do pattern five on the A minor chord for one bar. It's gonna sound like this.